In December 2014, the biggest Asia's MMA competition, One FC, was held in Beijing, China. MMA stands for mixed martial arts, which combines various kinds of fighting techniques, including Western boxing, Thai boxing, karate, wrestling, Chinese sandai, etc. One of the finalists is Song Yadong. He comes from Tianjin. Twenty-year-old Song Yadong is from Tianjin Kevin Boxing Hall. He is one of the top MMA fighters in China. His life has been closely connected with the sport ever since he became a professional in 2010. 我打拳的话，应该是一零年吧，开始。I started MMA in 2010. I had been learning traditional Chinese wushu since I was little. When I was about eight or nine, I went to martial art school near Henan Songshan Shaolin Temple. After that, I went to Shandong to learn sanda. Later in Beijing, I started learning MMA. Mixed martial art is particular about how inclusive and comprehensive it is. Fighters have to practice different fighting techniques, including kicking, punching, wrestling, etc. It's a big challenge to Sun Yadong's physical strength and endurance. Tianjin Kevin Boxing Hall invited coaches from Thailand and Brazil to train Sun Yadong on his Thai boxing and Brazil Jiu Jitsu. Thai boxing is famous for its strength and agility, attacking mainly with fist, leg, elbow, and knee. While Brazil Jiu-Jitsu can effectively put the opponent's attack under control, pin down component's body, and end the match quickly. My coach weighs more than 100 kilograms. I'm about half of that. He's pretty heavy, difficult to fight with. But it becomes an advantage when I'm facing my opponents. I feel easier. One FC is the most notable MMA event in Asia. It was founded in Singapore in 2011. This is the first time held in China. Ten Chinese and six foreign MMA masters joined the fighting championship. The fans, the media have been phenomenally supportive of One FC. A lot of great coverage, a lot of excitement about about One FC coming to Beijing, bringing mixed martial arts to the home of martial arts of the world. Everybody knows China is the home of martial arts. When you think of martial arts, you think China. We're very, very proud to be bringing it here to the mainland. Excited to be in Beijing. An incredible card. We're gonna have a sold-out night, and this is just the beginning of the growth of MMA and what One FC is gonna do out here in China. In martial art competitions, players compete in various classes based on weight. Sun Yadong is in the 61 kilogram group, which is bantamweight. His teammates Liu Xu and Li Kaiwen are at flyweight and featherweight, respectively. It is said there are zero over 17 million people taking part in different kinds of martial arts in China. In 2013, Hong Kong movie *Unbeatable*, directed by Lin Xiaoxun, made MMA known to Chinese. Kung Fu icon Bruce Lee's interdisciplinary cross-training method had been put into MMA practice. Now, as people having certain cognition above MMA, more and more went for the sport. Wu Xing, Sun Yadong's boss, is an enthusiastic promoter of MMA. Wu Xing is the one who is in charge of Tianjin K1 Boxing Hall. In 2004. He came back from the U.S. and founded a fitness company together with his friends. Because of his professional preference, he opened a boxing hall in Tianjin. Famous Don King, boxer Tyson's promoter, was my childhood idol. I thought the boxing hall would attract some professional fighters. We could help to train them to be better. That's what I wanted to do. And MMA was on the rising internationally, so I decided to make Tianjin the first in China. All three contestants from K1 were in the final. Li Kaiwen won the featherweight champion. As Sun Yadong, the youngest up-and-coming MMA fighters, 
was set up against 28-year-old Beijing competitor Ji Xian's three rounds over for full 15 minutes. Neither of them was knocked down. Sun Yadong lost the game by falling short on effective attacking points. Of course, everybody wants to win, but I told him to relax. Just show your best to everyone who's watching. It doesn't matter winning or losing. If you give all you have, that's impressive. He never give up, and he did a good show. You know? That's what matters the most, and he's going to keep it going. He's so young, and he's fighting like a, a man with a lot of experience already. There's no, no loss for me. Sun Yadong will become stronger after this fight. I will support Sun Yadong all the way. Sun Yadong, the champion will be yours. Sun Yadong might not get the champion title this time. However, he won tremendous respect from others. People remembered his indomitable spirit and tough resilience, which not only fit for the requirements of MMA, but also is the way of Chinese Kung Fu. Wang Dan, TJTV World.